Welcome back everybody. It's been a hot minute since I've picked up this camera to talk to you guys. I had a bit of a break today so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys the progress on the old printer. It's actually big enough now that I can't quite close the box on it but I'll get it out and show you guys what I've done. Okay so right now I'm on lab four. You guys can read that right there. Wiring and electronics and what I'm told is this is pretty much the last lab before we just kind of download the software on it, set it up and start printing. So this is really excited. I'm probably about halfway through it. Well, maybe a little bit more. I'll give myself 75% through it. As of right now, i got to wait until they have the next open printer SI that I can go to. But let me get it out here and I'll show you guys. Up until this point, I haven't shown you guys too much of my progress just because I've done the majority of the work inside the printer lab. And I don't really feel like I can film in there. It's a lot of other people. But uh, this was the first week in a while where I've had some extra work that I couldn't finish inside the lab. So I brought it back here and I figured, well, that would be a good time to show you guys my progress. Here it is. Ooh, can't get it all on the screen. It's pretty big. Here, I'll give you guys the walk around. So right there is a proper uh, front-facing view of it. This is going to be the front. Got all these wires right here. I haven't done too much cable management. That's also part of this lab. And oh well, it's not even attached to anything. I got all the parts on that bed over there just because I can't. It's so big I can't uh, put it in the box with all the parts. I have to take them all out. So yeah, I'll just give you guys a pretty general walkthrough. This is the this right here is the heated bed. I got it moved. This took me the longest amount of time getting this belt right here to uh, stay inside. There's a little, it stays inside of a little deal in there. It's really hard to see right in there. But that definitely took me the longest, but now it moves real smooth, real nice. That's really cool. You got your Linda switches at the back. So, and then up here we have the extruder assembly, same principle, just a belt, moves it. I don't have this fan attached quite yet, still got to do that. It kind of clicks into right there, but got to do that as of yet. Um, it's got your motors. This right down here, if you can really, if I can turn it there. Well, I'm not really be able to see that, but it's going down. Uh, this entire assembly right here, these two screws, they move it down. Oh, here we go. This is better. There it goes. Oh, it's moving up. Now it's moving down. So that's really cool. So I'm really close, just pretty much just wiring all of the motors themselves up. I have no wires on them right now. Attaching the main electronics right here and uh, downloading the software. And that's pretty much it. It's done. This is the part that actually feeds the filament. You put it in right here and the gear right there turns it and brings it through. And that's what forces it down into the extruder, which you can see underneath there. And that's what actually lets it print. So that's a pretty important feature. Not actually sure where this goes yet. I assume it goes like right there somewhere, but I don't know yet. So still got to have yet to put that on. All right, I'll put it back in the box here if I can. Make sure my wires are not going to get pinched. Uh, I got to turn it around. Hold on. There we go. It's pretty tricky with one hand, actually. So it's going to fit right down into there. Oh, oh, hey. Okay, we got it in. Yeah, like I was saying, it pretty much just barely fits in the box right now. They really should have given us a box that actually, like, can hold the finished printer, but whatever. I mean, it works. I can transport it. Nothing seems to be breaking, so, you know, whatever. Take what you can get. And then, yeah, like I said, I got all the, uh, these are all the extra parts that I haven't put on it yet. Well, that's just my laptop that doesn't actually go on it, but got that board. I got halfway done soldering that last time, and then, uh lab ended so this is just a bunch of the rest of the parts I never really showed you guys the individual parts this is all the 3d print stuff that they give us power cable and just oh there's some just some uh, nuts and bolts and stuff the main led screen you'll see all that once it gets onto the actual printer but that's just a sneak preview and i'm not really sure how it all fits on yet anyway got to get that lab manual but just got to focus on fitting finishing this one what a great sound I had to tape over it because I was trying to get back from printer lab in the rain. So yeah, pretty much just put your foot right there. Oh, pull that. And then just slide it underneath the bed. And there it is. So that's pretty much the most interesting stuff that I'm working on. Everything else is just intro to engineering and math, which uh, you guys probably wouldn't find very interesting. But I'm glad you guys come along and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Will you play badminton with me? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Do 
do not video the stupid things he does. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. So today we are doing a family outing to a gelato festival. I'm excited. I love gelato, so I hope this festival is as good as it sounds. I've never been before, so this is a first. So we'll see if it's worth it or not. Skippy. <laughs> Perfect. Let the family outing begin. Farmer's Market, up the stairs. Gelato Festival, yes. Let's go sample. Milky cookies. Milky cookies. Okay, so we decided to look around all the cool shops and pumpkins and all the cool things that they have instead of get gelato. So, Revan, are you having a good time? That's a no. All these plants are in Dad's heaven. So pretty. So attractive. Oh, Rev, you got something on your face. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, I see you eyeing this guy over here. Don't get any ideas. Ribbon, that's a girl. Is that really? Are you kidding me? No. Oh, well, uh, that's awkward. We lost the rest of the fam. That's what happens when you do some establishing shots. Do I? Oh, it's so cute. We're not cheating on you, babe. I promise. She's sweeter than the babe. <gasps> How dare you? She is. Are you cheating on the babes? No, the babe will always be one of the most important girls in my life, but... You won't leave that cat, will you? I will not. For all of you who don't know, I like, I'm a lover of pretty much all animals. Uh, really? Yeah. Even crocodiles? That's just insensitive. <laughs> Hey Dara, where's Revan? I don't know, let's look. Rev, stop texting the cats. That's a Disney reference, so if you know what that's from, Leave true a comment OG below. Disney fan. Comment below. <laughs> look at these huge like pumpkins. Revan, put your head next to you for reference. <laughs> oh, hey. Listen, you got a big head. <laughs> My head's bigger oh, than the pumpkin. I can't pumpkin. This uh, pumpkin hitting puberty. Nothing like spending a nice Sunday oh, afternoon with the this. fam, I looking at plants and pumpkins. Through here. <laughs> bush is just like shaking. I didn't ah! know dendrium bush. Yes, rhododendron bush. Is good to have one. Oh, Bigfoot. So Bigfoot is real. Right, <laughs> Bigfoot is real. <laughs> On fire. It doesn't look very hot. Autumn embers. Well, it looks like the fire died down. <laughs> We have to go back. We barely made it out with our lives. Now we have to go back. No, there he is. We gotta save him. Where did Rev go? There's a rustling in the bushes. Oh, we found it. Good. We gotta get out now. All right. Well, we're done. That was a very nice family outing. It was fun. That scared me. <laughs> <laughs> So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. We forgot the parents. We're gonna have to go back in. It's like triple.